this contribution has to do with how and why cities took the shape they did. The intention is to explore history in a manner that analyzes the historical record in service of the design of buildings rather than a specialist subset of history. In simple terms, architectural history can and should serve the needs of architecture as a world, responding to the role of designers in bringing historical precedent to bear on the present practice of architects as source material to be understood. I have found a good example of this attitude on the comic From Hell by, by Alan Moore and Eric Campbell, uh, who speculates on the identity and motivation of the enigmatic murderer Jack the Ripper. The man said the driver, do you begin to understand the great war that is London? It's a true textbook that we can use when doing our own great works. We will investigate the metaphors and structure in order to finally understand their meaning. Uh, we will read it carefully and with respect. And then they go through London with the carriage discovering some relationships between the process of thinking, the architectural design, and the history of the profession. To explore the urban form of Morella in Spain, we have searched on pictures, historical drawings, plans, ethnographic and archaeological reports, and on the current and ancient cartography. The methodology used includes, uh, includes uh, urban morphology and typology, space syntax, and ethnographic and archaeological reports. As a result, we can uh, identify the architectural characteristics of the territory and the specific qualities of the cultural and geographical environment of the city. An analysis of the, tip, of the typology makes evident the formal characteristics of places that are repeated in more contexts and in time. The purpose in this case is not to establish a classificatory model. My contribution will show that we read form correctly only if we are familiar with the precise cultural condition that generates it. Spiro Kostov pointed out that the more we know about culture, about the structure of a society in various periods of history in different parts of the world, the better we are able to read the built environment. In addition to the characteristics given by the geography, it's fundamental to identify some artistic principles in the art of urban form. In the Redificatoria, Le Leon Battista Alberti observed that since antiquity, two types of urban form had been used for shaping urban fabrics, the orthogonal gear and or uh, the semicircular form. These two main types of form used for building the geometry of walls are still visible today in the skyline and the perimeters of most of urban fabrics in Europe. Morella is a walled city located in the slope of better solar orientation of a hill that has, uh, has got a castle on the top. The city has a semicircular form and an urban layout of concentric perimeters. Traditionally, Morella has been considered a medieval city because its settlement can be identified with the morpho morphotypological model of medieval settlement of castles and walled cities on, uh, on top of the hills, located on strategic points of the territory with high visual uh, control, with good defensive condition before the probable attacks due to a frequent confrontation between peoples. A territorial morphotype is characterized uh, by the formal interpretation of the relationship between the urban fabric and uh, its environment. The separation between countryside and city in different units of analysis makes more difficult to understanding the urban form. As Aristotle recorded in his urban theory, pedestrian know-how was inherited in ancient Greek town planning and was carried to the rest of Europe through the ancient institution of the Roman cadaster, dividing private and public property. Originally, the purpose was to collect taxes from agriculturally and this ancient uh, planning tax policy uh, still exists in many countries. Saverio Muratori defended that all the territory of the Roman Empire was planned from a gear, the Roman cadaster. I have developed hypotheses of centuriation in Morella. 
from the current cadaster and this girl. On this picture, we find the Roman logic because the girl is perpendicular to the Bergantes River, uh, where there are the most fertile lands. Moreover, this girl is aligned with the castle shape and with the layout of some of the main streets of the city. The archaeological evidence shows that since the Neolithic period, the rocks on the top of the hill where Morega is located uh, has been inhabited. I will attempt to exemplify the contribution that urban morphology can make to the historical reconstruction of the physical form of urban areas. In this map of the building types of this town, priority is given to historical periods, and these are morphological periods, periods having unity in terms of the physical form that were created. We can see that the main streets of the city are the continuation of the main access roads. The old fortification walls separate outside and inside the city. There was a link of interdependence. Thanks to the old fortification walls, the gates, the street, we know that there was a total architectural and urban interaction between the design inside and outside of Morea. Urban design is, of course, an art. And like all design, it does to consider human behavior. Uh, people were forbidden to build houses attached to the fortification wall and were only allowed to enter through the gates of the ancient city for a few hours during the day. Therefore, people were aware not only of the security the defense walls offered, but also of the kind of use they were able to make of these architectural structures. Use of space was regulated by law. The physical aspect of urban settings can only be mindful in this context when they are studied together with the legal codes that rule people, people's behavior. An aspect of plots was their dimension. For example, by analyzing measurements of plots with, we are able to detect regularity, speculate about the intention of the, of the medieval surveyor when the town was laid out, and infer the original plot width and how they were subsequently subdivided or aggregated. In the picture, in number one, we can see how the street was formed with regularity of plot widths of approximately four meters, and the old palaces in the street are probably the result of the bullshit of three consecutive uh, plots. Another aspect of plots were their shapes. Residential plots are likely to have been created as a series of rectangular shapes. In number two of the picture, uh, we see an overtaking of the plots on the street because we find irregular dividing lines. Finally, in number three, uh, we see an alignment of plots in different blocks. When more than three lines are aligned, cannot be, it cannot be casual. The main hypothesis is that there was a street that was closed in the past. These three hypotheses are only three examples to see the potential of, infor of information that the catastrophe uh, keeps as memory in the form. Another important source to the historical reconstruction of the physical form of urban areas is the study, uh, is the study of historical documents. <coughs> In the historical archive of Morella, we found some documents of the late 18th century about the construction of a neighborhood. The process of creating houses plot began in 1789 when a rural property within the old fortification walls was sold in order to build houses. The historic documents specifies the dimension of the plots. Uh, we can see isn't in the number four this this neighborhood, and this structure has remained until the present, as we see. Uh, also was destroyed and rebuilt after suffering major damage in successive wars. Space syntax represents a more technical, logical, and abstract version of public life studies. This map was made with the help of information uh, from a computer program about the probability that pedestrians and drivers would choose one way or another. The color scale illustrates the result. In blue, the less likely, and, uh, and in red, the most likely. The red line uh, in the main is the main street of Morea, where urban life is concentrated. 
In this map, the color scale illust illustrates a degree of visual integration. This map captures the essence of Morelia, people moving and interacting in space, sharing, creating, and innovating. A social and economic, uh, economic network played out in streets and public spaces. The red color indicates a good visual integration and accessibility regarding the world core of the city. Nevertheless, in the map, an important red line goes from the town hall to, to, uh, from the town hall, uh, to the old fortification wall. Uh, this street, uh, this red line, uh, indicates a good visual control from far away to this place. But in this place, there is no public life. It's a priority car street. In historical documents, military maps and engraving, we can identify a gate of the fortification wall that has disappeared on the, uh, on the road outside. In addition to the historical images and plans, visual exploration is essential in locating the gate. If we look at the old fortification wall next to the tower, we can find some of the stones of the destroyed art of the city gate. And outside, there is a water source. This arc is five meters below the street. In the municipal archive of Morelia, we have found uh, the memory of, of the project in 1934 of the creation of a highway for cars that uh, did not have uh, the need to stop in the population. The creation of this road for cars supposed to break the old fortification wall and to raise the level on the street, hiding the old gate. When applying space syntax on this hypothesis of historical growing of the city, we see that each new street that's appear, that appears modifies the complete structure of the city. The disappearance of a historical, uh, of a historic road that arrayed from the countryside affects the entire street structure. The interesting thing about space syntax is that it's a specific tool that measures change not in an intuitive way, but in a more scientific way, from a system theory. The computer analysis with dev maps is useful in this case to systematize what we had seen with the previous analysis overlapping historical maps. In conclusion, space syntax adds uh, to traditional urban morphology methodology and proves to be extremely useful. A prerequisite shown in this paper claim the need for an accurate choice of historic maps and ethnographic reports that are previously gathered at a qualitative interdisciplinary level. And future studios are, need, are needed to predict the impact of new infrastructure and design upon uh, cultural heritage and upon social life. Thank you.